Here's another part of our conversation with the great Felix Cavallari. I'm John Bowden, Rocky Street Music. Okay, this is a question. I, it started with Richie Fiore, and he and I don't talk politics, and he's a great interview, and I really enjoy talking to him. Uh, but but he's a religious man, deeply religious man. I'm not. I'm not a Christian. But um, so I said, Richie, you just lost Rusty Young. Rusty Young's dead. He yeah, said, yeah. Said, Do you mind? He said, no, let's go down that road. I, I don't mind at all. I said, he says, I like different questions. So he said, uh, I said, okay, if you had to guess, where do we go when we die? Where's Rusty? Like, where where is he? I mean, I said, <laughs> I said, where is he? Like, where did he go? Where's my dad? Where's there anybody? And, you know, he he gave me the the, the, the what he believes with God and, and, and you know, we, we're all up there together and kumbaya. And that's great. That's great. But where what's your take be, from where you've been? Where uh, do we go when we die? Where, what do you think? You got about an hour and a half. <laughs> you got a lot of thoughts on it. As I say, look, you know, when I when I went to see my teacher, that was one of the first questions I asked him is what the heck was this all about, man? You know? What is this all about? Uh, there's a lot of knowledge to be had. If, if, if you or anyone want to explore that knowledge, there's a lot of resource. There's a lot of material. Uh, as you said earlier, you, you probably are, are going to find that most of it is, is guided through some sort of religious output of data. So I would say pick your, you know, your source, you know, where you want it to come from. Like the Buddhist got really interesting, interesting thoughts. It's all about relive, you know, rebirth. Uh, interestingly enough, most of the other religions have that rebirth in them, but they don't talk about it. Buddhists talk about it. Hindus talk about it. They don't talk about it. A Catholic religion, it's there. Uh, if you find a priest that is willing to talk to you, he'll tell you. Incarnation of, uh, what was it, Elijah? Uh, was it John the Baptist? Where'd that come from? Oh, well, we don't talk about that. See, because certain religions, they, they, they don't want to tell you what they know. You know what I'm saying? But they know. So what I would suggest to anybody that's got that question, if you want to find out, ask, and you're going to find out. I have a theory about it that I, that I got from, from basically, which was from the, the, the yoga position, which is like a Hindu type, which is, is a series of, of karmic levels you know for example like we're talking about you know we've been talking about the pandemic you know mm -hmm. according to what i believe you know in other words like let's let's just say you you got 10 levels okay and the lowest one is when you fall back to earth and you know you're on the planet which is not exactly this you know a picnic this 10th level and ninth level and eighth level these guys who have been women who have been serving in the hospitals, they get up pretty high level when they get out of here because of that service. They get up pretty high on that ladder. And from what I've seen, they deserve it. You know, it's been pretty rough out there for these people. You know, you, you see on the news, I mean, they're watching people die every day. I was talking to this, this guy today who was telling me one of his patients is a, is a, is a COVID guy, you know, COVID person. And he said, there's this young guy in the hospital. He passed away because he didn't take his vaccine. He didn't want to do it. He says, I guess I made a mistake. I, I, I guess you made a mistake, dude. Yeah. But I mean, the bottom line is this guy was there treating him. So they, 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 they hold a very high position before they got to fall back to this planet. You know, I mean, that's the reincarnation, you know? So, it, it's a very simple formula, you know, which, which basically, they, you know, they call the karmic formula, karma. You do good deeds, you get good things back. You do bad things, you get bad things back. Simple as that. Yeah. You know, and, and some, some good deeds are, are better than others. I mean, like, you know, like, wow, you, you, you serve humanity like that. You, you, you're okay. Yeah. You get what you give. You know, that's that. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, other, otherwise, you know, uh, you know, if you think rationally, it doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. I mean, maybe it does somewhere, you know, but if you believe that all of the planets and all of the, they all are perfectly in movement with one another. Wait a second. Yeah. But we're not. Yeah. Okay. You know, it, it's really interesting to, the more you want to learn, the more you, less, you know, <laughs> you know, 
Well, also, I find that, you know, it's like that old thing people say, you know, when you're 20 years old, you never think about what you're going to be like at 50. You're just too busy being 20 and you don't have that perspective. You don't have enough years behind you to even have that perspective, right? It's like a dog can't think about thinking. It, 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 it <laughs> is. It just is. A dog is just a dog. But we have that. It's not a bad way to be. It's not a bad way to be. Just kind of be, you know. Well, you know, like, like I said, there's so much to learn if you're interested in learning in any of these subjects, you know, and 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 I, I was always interested in learning these subjects because, you know, I, I mean, if you've got a brain, use it, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, it's pretty easy to just kind of. But on the other hand, you know, like uh, the guru it, it, it is, is in a whole different place. Like, you know, if I if I asked him, like, you know, the latest news. He doesn't know the latest news, you know. He doesn't care about the latest news, you know. He's up on a different, you know. I'm looking from up here, and you guys are down there. You know, what I'm saying it's cool, but I'm up here, you know. Well, it's not easy to get up there because you know we've got bodies we got to take care of, we got bills we got to take care of, we got families we got to take care of, we got thoughts we got to take care of. Ouch! <laughs> you know? It's not unlike being a great musician because there's a lot of sacrifice, right? You've got your your if you're going to go mm -hmm. inward, you're not spending time out there with Bob or Joe or going to a party. That's a lot of solitude you, you, and a lot of discipline too. You know, if you don't have discipline, I would advise you to go into another business <laughs> because nobody tells us when to get up in the morning. Nobody tells us to punch any clocks. Yeah. You either do it or you don't do it, and a lot of people don't do it. You know, they, they, they need uh, an eight to five, nine to five, you know, uh, otherwise they, they drift away. You know, We'll have more from Felix Cavallari coming up in a few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. You want to donate to the channel at the very top of the description. There's a link where you can do that or you can buy a T-shirt that helps the channel as well. We have T-shirts for Rock History Music, Rock History Book and Rock History Canada. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.